This is how to solve a um, container with most water. And the problem is given a certain amount of non-negative in integers um, where each represents a, port, a point coordinate. Um, for instance, 0, 1 represents here. Um, 1, 8 is this point. Um, so vertical lines are drawn such the endpoints is at 0, 1, 1, 8, 2, 6. Find two lines that form a container such as th that the container contains the most water. Um, in this image here, this is the correct answer that's given. But um, the coordinates are given based on the index. So like I was saying, 0, 1, 1, 8, 2, 6, 3, 2, etc. These are the different points. And these are the lines that are drawn. Um, so the output is 49 because calculating the area that all of these lines make, this is the largest area, which would be, in this case, holding the largest amount of water. Um, so thinking about a plan on how to solve this, um, I think the best way to do this is to first, we're going to have two indexes, and those indexes would be um, the x values, which go um, 0 to 8 here. So we'll have two indexes, one that'll start at the beginning, and then one that'll be at the end. So we'll loop through now the left index is less than the right index. And we will calculate the area at each of these points um, by multiplying the minimum height. So for instance, it would be here, it would be 1 versus 7. We would calculate 1 times the, the difference in the current indexes. And third, um, if current area is greater than the max area that we're keeping track of, um, we're just going to set max equal to current area. So this is four. Um, if the current height of the left point is less than the right, we're going to move the index up one. Else we are going to move right index to the left, which would be minus minus. Um, and the items we need for this would be a um, left index set to zero, right index which is the length of a given array, minus one. And a max area starting at zero.
So this is an illustration of the algorithm being solved. Uh, this is depicting left index at zero, the right index at the length minus one, which is right here. Um, the max area is set to zero, and we are going to be looping through this while this left index is less than the right. And all of the values that were given in this sample array are here, one, eight, six, two, etc. So when we first start our loop, um, the first thing we're going to do is calculate the area. So to calculate the area, we take the minimum, minimum value of the height, which is one verse um, seven here. And so we have one, and then we're going to multiply it by the right index minus the left index. So that's nine minus one. And so the max area is now eight because it was zero previously. The second thing we're going to do, um, we're going to look at the height on the left, which is one, and the height on the right. So if the left value is less than the right value, we're going to move this one up one. And so our left value is moved up one. <coughs> and what we're going to do again is the same thing, calculate the area. The area is the minimum value of the height, which is seven in this case. So it's the right value because it's left is eight. And we're going to multiply it by the value of the right index minus the left index. So it's nine minus two. So that's 49. 49 is larger than our previous value, so we're going to set that to 49. And now what are we going to do with our indexes? Um, left is at 8, right is at 7. So we're going to be moving our right to the left. And again, the same thing. Um, if it's not clear, this orange area is depicting the area that we're calculating. <clears throat> Calculate our area. Um, the minimum value of the height of the right and the left, so that's going to be 3. And we'll take the right index minus the left index. It's 3 times 6. It's 18. 18 is not greater than 49, so we're keeping our max area that, the same. We're not setting it to the current area. <coughs> So height on the left is greater than the height on the right, so we're going to be moving our right minus 1. And so now we're calculating our current area, the height of the right versus the height of the left. They're both 8, so it's 8. The index is 7 on the right minus 2, so the value is 40. 40 is not less than 49. Um, the height on the left is not greater than the height on the right, so what we're going to be doing is moving the right index to the left. Calculate our area the same way. The minimum height, which is 4, and the index is 6 minus 2. 4 times 4 is 16, not greater than 49. Um, the right height is left is less than the left height, so we're going to be taking our right index and moving it to the left. Calculate our area. The minimum value of the height on the left and right is 5. The index is 5 minus the left index is 2, so it's 5 times 3. The area is 15. It's not greater than our max area. The right height is less than the left height, so we're going to be taking our right index and moving it to the left. Calculate our current area, taking our minimum value of the height on the right between the height on the left, so that's 2. The index is 4 on the right. The index on the left is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, not greater than 49. The height 
on the left is greater, so we're going to be moving our right index to the left. Now we're going to calculate area, the minimum height on the right versus the minimum height on the left. So that is 6 times the index on the right, which is 3, minus the index on the left, which is 2. So it's 6 times 1 is 6. 6 is not greater than 49. The height on the left is greater than the height on the right. So we're moving our right index to the left, which breaks our loop and we're returning our max value of 49. And now for the coding part. Um, the first thing that we need since we're returning our int is the value we're going to return, which is going to be a maximum area. And we're going to initialize that to 0. And eventually, we are just going to return that max area. The other two things we need are a left index, which is going to start at 0, and a right index, which is going to be um, height is the name of the array, so it's going to be the length of the array minus 1, because it is 0 based. Um, and I think that's all we're going to need for now. So we're going to do our while loop while the right index is bigger than our left index. The first thing we are going to do is calculate the current area, which is going to be <coughs> the minimum value of our heights that we ha currently have. So the height on the left and the height on the right. And we're going to take that and multiply it by the difference between the right index and the left index. And now we're going to check to see for our max area. We're going to set that to be the maximum value. Is it the maximum value the current max area? Or is it the current area we just calculated? After that, we're going to move our indexes along. If the height of the left is less than the height of the right, we're going to move our left over to the right, else we are going to move our right over to the left. And that should be it. Let's see. Bracket here. And that should work. Um, so, another way we can just check to see how this is working, you can do a system out print line and you could show what the current area is. Let's see, the current area is. And our max area is, and this is just not necessary to complete the algorithm. This is just going to show you how it's working under the hood. Um, let's see if that will work. And this is how it's working under the hood. This is how it worked. Um, in the illustration before, so for every step the current area is 8, so the max area is set to 8. 
the current area is 49, set to 49, and then these are all the other current areas, and that's why 49 doesn't change the entire time, and so we return 49. Okay, um, that should be all. Thank you.